if I say I can express my love only within a boundary, then my input of love also limited. I can express only limited beauty in life. Because more beauty I recognize, more beauty I sense, more love arises. If I stop expressing my love and seeing more beauty same time, then it's not matching. Inflow and outflow is not matching. Only I see a lot of beauty everywhere. If that is true, then outflow also true. That means I'm able to love more. I'm able to express my love more. I experience, sense more beauty, but to express this love, I create as a boundary. I can express only if it is belongs to me. If the garden is belongs to me, if these people are belongs to me, then I can express. That means I'm limiting my flow of love. So naturally, I will have a problem. My body will not be happy because I have pressure in my body. Something is trying to come out of me. Something is, I have a pressure, internal pressure, something trying to explode, come out of me. And this we misinterpret. My creativity wants to come, my expression wants to come, my dance wants to come, my ideas want to come. No, 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 no. This is how we got more trouble. It's an art of loving. Art of loving each other. Art of loving means my ability to express my love without compartmentalizing. Otherwise, I'm meant for nature. I'm meant for creativity. I'm meant for this. I'm meant for that. You are reducing yourself. But if you don't have this boundary, if you are able to express your love beyond this boundary, you will be able to let your love flow through you. That means you will be able to see the beauty of life more and more.